You got to work with the cards that are dealt to you. It's all in the cards. YouTube info cards are in the building. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, from San Antonio YouTubers. You've heard the big news. Yes, that's right. YouTube info cards, YouTube cards, or interactivity cards, whatever you call them, all right? They're in the building, all right? I'm going to show you how to use them and how to get them set up for your channel. Here we are in YouTube. First thing we want to do is we want to go over to our icon in the upper right-hand corner. We want to left click on that icon and then we want to click on creator studio. Once we're in the creator studio, we want to go over to our video manager. Once we're in the video manager, we want to go to the video that we want to add the YouTube cards to and we'll click on edit or you can click on the drop down next to edit and you can just go directly to cards. So I'm just going to click on edit so I can give you a look at what it looks like now. Now on the edit screen for your videos, you have all these selections up top, but now you also have one called cards. And here it even says with cards, you can add promotions and links on your video. Plus cards even work on mobile. And if you've seen this message enough, just click on OK, got it, and it should stop showing up. Now let's click on cards. And your video starts to play. You view it up there, the appreciate your content. Ad. It'll start playing with an ad if it has an ad on it or whatever. But from here, it's pretty simple. You click on add card. And you get all the options for the cards that are available. So if you have an associated website that you have linked up to your YouTube account, you can pick a specific spot in the video where you say something like, visit our website or if it's at the end on a on a uh, uh, end card or end slate or if you say it anywhere in the video you can go ahead and create a card that will correspond to the video say hey click on the card up in the upper left corner to check out our website or something like that you can be really specific with these uh, because they're very interactive with your video you can put them wherever you want so let's say I clicked on create And I put a website in here. And now it's going ahead and giving me a picture from that website and saying, hey, this is one of the available images. And then there's other ones on here with these little arrows. You can click and see some of the other images that are available on that website's page. I'll just leave it here for now and then I'll make a call to action. Making a call to action really gets people engaged and gets them to actually take that call to action and do something. So I'll now click on create card. And now I have the card here. Now I can create more cards if I want to. I said this one here is going to start at two seconds, but I can move it over and actually have it start at zero seconds if I want. So now I changed it to zero seconds. I can add another card. Let's go ahead and move our playhead. And let's say at a minute, I wanted a different card to show up. So I can click on add card. And now I can do fan funding. So I'm gonna click on create. And here it says encourage viewers to make voluntary payments to support your channel. If you click on settings, it'll actually take you to the page where you set up your fan funding settings. So I have my fan funding settings all set up here. 
and I already have fan funding for this YouTube channel. So I'm going to click on create card. And now it created a fan funding card here. So let's say I wanted to go further into the video somewhere else. And let's say I knew that at a three minute mark, I said something like, uh, I don't know, buy some merchandise from our store or check out my other videos. Then I can click on the merchandise option and click on create. And then I can add in the website uh, that I have from one of the merchandising sites that are available. There are several merchandising sites that YouTube allows you to use and create products that can be sold on your uh, YouTube videos or on your YouTube channel. So you have the merchandising sites here that are available. They are the approved ones on here. I have a district line store uh, for my Pinnacle Studio Pro channel. So I could add that if I wanted to. And some of the other channel options you have here, fundraising. If you have a fundraising project through a uh, Patreon or through uh, Kickstarter or whatever, you can see that you can set up a URL to link to your fundraising project. So here are some of the approved fundraising sites. You got Patreon, Kickstarter, and then some other ones on here. So if I click on add card again, got some other options here. We got a video or playlist. So if I want to link to a video or a playlist from my YouTube channel, I can do that. Let's click on create and I can choose any one of my videos through the uploads section or I can click on playlist and I can select a playlist. So I'm just going to do a video here and I will create this card. And now I'm going to move one of these cards over. And say we're going to leave it at three minutes. All right, so now I have my video set up with my three cards. So let's get an idea what it looks like when we play now. So if I click on play from here. Your viewers out there appreciate your content. And you know they're trying to find ways to support your channel. And YouTube knows it too. That's why they're bringing fan fun. You notice that whenever I pause the video or whenever I hover over the video, this little icon shows up. Into the building, let's get into it. So whenever I hover over it, it makes the icons active. And when I click on it, it should be the first one that is available because of where the playhead is at at this point. Now if we move the playhead forward some, and I hit play again, Right now, fan funding is only available in Australia, Japan, Mexico, and the United States. It moves to the next one. One great thing about fan funding that I love. Now, I can just close it out by just clicking on this little X. And it'll go back to being an icon. And that you can make a custom message or a video. That and as I get closer to the next one. With everything that you're doing by putting in your information. Then... Once you get down here to the bottom, you want to go ahead and add your information. It pulls up the next one if I click on it. So it's very interactive as to where you are in the video, what you're doing on the video. This is a fantastic tool that you can use to get people to take action on the calls to actions that you create through your YouTube cards.